So tonight I am bringing you a book that one of my sons wrote. It is called How to Annoy My Brother by Peyton Steenstra. This is a step-by-step -step book. Please pay close attention to each step so you too can annoy your brother. Step one, get up in the morning, wait until your brother goes into the bathroom to brush his teeth. Then you run into his room and steal one of his stuffed animals. It will annoy him more if you take one of his favorite stuffed animals. If you are the smallest one in the family, get on the couch so he will not be able to reach it. Step two, pretend that you are asleep. Then once your parents are asleep, go and try to find something fuzzy. Then quietly tiptoe to your brother's room. Make sure he is asleep. If he is, go in and tickle his nose with whatever you are holding. Then run back to your room and pretend you are asleep. When he wakes up and sees nobody, he will probably think it was all a dream. But you know the truth. Step three, ask your mom if you can have a snack. If she says yes, make sure it is a finger food that both you and your brother like. Then share your food equally. When your brother is watching TV, steal his food. Step four. If you and your brother like different teams, you can easily annoy him. All you have to do is brag about how your team is so cool. It will make your brother furious. If he is furious, that means you have done your job. Step five. Another way to annoy your brother is to never give him any peace and quiet. To do this, you have to wait until your brother wants to go into his room and just chill. Then go up to the door and bam your fist on it. Then stay there and wait until he opens the door. When he opens the door, just say, hi, and then leave. Step six, say to your brother, I can beat you in a wrestling match. Hopefully that will start a wrestling match. When you have him down, start saying one, two, three, like you are pinning him to the ground. While he is down, start biting his foot. He will probably start crying like a little baby. Then say, I'll stop if you call yourself a wimp. You will force your brother to call himself a wimp and win the wrestling match. Yay me. Truth be told, my brother and I get along really well most of the time. We both love sports like football, basketball, and baseball. If it involves running, catching, shooting, or tackling, we love to play it. We have had some amazing adventures with our neighbor, Sophia Gunther. We always have great vacations with our cousin, Vivian. This is my family and I love them dearly. Mom and me, Peyton, Dad and Logan, Uncle Rob and Vivian. Peyton Steenstra is a second grader at Schumacher Elementary in Liberty, Missouri. So he was seven when he wrote this book. He is 19 now. So that was 12 years ago. I hope you enjoyed Peyton's story and I hope you never annoy your brothers and sisters. Always be kind.